Intellectual property rights are legal rights that govern how human created products are used. These rights are only now being recognized and protected. Industrial property includes things like patents, designs and trademarks. Patents, utility models, industrial designs, trademarks, service marks, trade names, indications of source or appellations or origin and the repression of unfair competition are the objects of industrial property protection according to the International Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property. Copyrights, geographical markers, layout designs and sensitive information all become intellectual property when coupled with industrial property. The trade related aspects of intellectual property rights agreement of the World Trade Organization gave intellectual property rights the ability to enforce the law on a global basis. Intellectual property rights are defined by TRIPS as number 1 copyright and related rights rights of artists, painters, musicians, sculptors, photographers and authors for copyright in their works. rights of computer programs whether in source or object code for copyright in their programs and compilation data rights of performers producers of phonograms and broadcasting organizations in respect of fixation in their programs for copyright in their work number 2 right of traders in their trademarks number 3 right of manufacturers and producers on geographical indication in relation to such products and produce number 4 right of designers for their distinctive design striking the eye number 5 patents right of the inventor to patent his invention rights of plant breeders and farmers rights of biological diversity Number 6 right of computer technologists for their layout design of integrated circuits number 7 right of businessmen to protect their undisclosed information on technology and management copyright and related rights he who created the picture owns the image in the abstract sense of the art form made apparent by the paint and canvas this phenomenon is the core principle of copyright and related rights In certain languages copyright is referred to as author's rights the expression of author's rights refers to the creator of an artistic work its author thus underlining that as recognized in most laws authors have certain specific rights in their creations that only they can exercise which are often referred to as moral rights this right is to prevent distorted reproduction of the work other rights such as the right to make copies can be exercised by third parties with the author's permission The Copyrights Act 1957 Under Section 13 of the Copyright Act all literary dramatic musical or creative work a cinematograph film and sound recordings are the objects of copyright computer databases programs tables and compilations are all considered literary works Section 17 clearly states that the author of the original work for which protection under copyright has been obtained shall be the first owner of the work further the owner has the right to license the copyright of their work to third parties through a written agreement in the case of published literary works dramatical works and artistic works copyright protection shall be provided to such works for a term of 60 years in addition to the life of the author Section 57 awards incidental protection under copyright and the Copyright Act also confers certain special rights on the author. An author or owner of the copyrighted work even after assigning the work to another person has the right to claim authorship of the work and the right to claim damages with respect to any distortion, mutilation, modification of the author's original work in the event such distortion or any other act is damaging to the author's reputation. Amendment There were constant amendments in copyright law to accommodate the pace of development in the field and to comply with the WIPO Copyright Treaty and WIPO Performance and Phonograms Treaty which made sure that Indian laws are kept in loop for development in relation to newly introduced technological protection measures which indeed ensured the fair use survives in the digital world by providing unique provisions for fair use also amended author friendly changes unique provisions for disabled etc to streamline copyright administration Recently the government of India notified the copyright rules 2021 on March 30 2021 amending the copyrights rule 2013 although the draft of this amendment was made public for opinion in 2019 the bill is similar to the draft in many dimensions the main highlight of which is the copyright board being replaced by the appellate board plenty of emphasis has been given to the amendments which are identical to the draft based on the functioning of copyright societies in India This includes provisions relating to the information of traceable systems for the collection and distribution of royalties the system of dealing with royalties for works whose authors cannot be located or identified and the facility to search from the database of a copyright society trademark 
Anything that indicates the source of the products or service is a trademark. It could be a word, a picture, a logo, a sound, etc. A trademark represents the worth or goodwill connected to the products and their particular source. It sets one company apart from others. The following are various advantages of trademarks. Customers identify products with desirable attributes more quickly because of this. It encourages companies to improve the caliber of their output. It would be difficult to distinguish between duplicates and low quality products without an identification mark. Because the returns from higher quality products will be the same as those from lower quality ones, the corporation will be less inclined to produce them. Trademark protection confers monopoly power over distinctive trademark by forbidding others from using it or one that is confusingly similar. However, the goal of this kind of monopoly power is not to prevent the manufacture of comparable goods, but rather to prevent the use of confusing or similar marks. Thus, trademarks generally have a positive incentive effect. It would appear that there is no overall conflict between the economics of trademark protection and the intellectual property law governing such marks. However, there are some ambiguities. Issue of umbrella branding. When a business enters a new market by using a trademark that has become well known due to the selling of a certain product. For instance, Reliance enters the restaurant business, the entertainment industry and retail marketing. Since a company is essentially utilizing a competitive advantage gained in other countries to promote its product, such brand extension techniques create serious competition policy concerns. It is more difficult for a new company to join the market because consumers are more likely to test products linked with a well-known brand name than products affiliated with an unknown brand with the same quality. Compulsory Licensing of Trademarks Policies requiring businesses to license their trademarks may result in substandard service at a premium price associated with the brand. This will also have a negative impact on the brand's reputation. This would reduce the firm's incentive to supply high-quality goods to customers. The Trademarks Act 1999 The Trademarks Act under Section 2 of ZB defines a trademark as a mark capable of being represented graphically and which is capable of distinguishing the goods or services of one person from those of others and may include the shape of goods, their packaging and combination of colours. A trademark application need not be filed in respect of marks that are in use but can also be filed in respect of marks that are intended to be used in future. The primary requirements for registration of a trademark include that it should consist of a mark capable of distinguishing the goods or services from those of others and that it is capable of graphical representation. The Trademarks Act provides for absolute grounds for refusal of registration such as the mark not having a distinctive character, a mark being deceptive and confusing to the public, if a mark is hurtful to religious sentiments, the mark is offensive, scandalous, obscure, etc. In addition to the absolute grounds of refusal, the statute also provides for relative grounds of refusals of registration. Further, India is a signatory to the Madrid Protocol under which a trademark can be applied for and registered internationally. However, the prerequisite for filing and registering an international application in a foreign jurisdiction is that the mark needs to be first filed in India. The protection afforded by trademark registration is imperative as it protects the brand name, logo, sound, shape, etc. and distinctively identifies the goods or services of the brand, bringing uniqueness to the mark. Also, the validity of trademark registration is for an initial period of 10 years, which can be renewed perpetually for a successive period of 10 years. Patents. Innovation is the subject matter of a patent right. In law, he who creates a new procedure, instrument or production by his talent or labor owns that concept. He is the only one who has the right to utilize it and benefit from it. The Patents Act 1970. A patent is granted for a term of 20 years from the date of filing of the application. It is important to note that a patent for a new invention is registered only if the invention is novel and origin. That is, it has not been introduced in the public domain in India or anywhere in the world. Is capable of industrial application, which refers to the ability of invention to be used in an industry and is an invention that requires to employ a process of inventive steps, which is defined as a feature of an invention that involves technical advance as compared to the existing knowledge or having economic significance or both and that makes the invention not obvious to a person skilled in the art under the Patents Act. With respect to a patent for a product, the right to prevent third parties from using, selling, making, importing, etc. The product without prior consent of the original inventor.
Further, India is a signatory to the Patent Cooperation Treaty, which permits an applicant to file an application for registration of an international patent. Upon filing such an application, an inventor can obtain patent protection in multiple countries simultaneously. Amendment The Act, which is now the governing act for patents in the country till now, went through an amendment in 2005 to be compliant with the TRIPS Agreement and is now known as the Patents Act 2005. The amendment oversaw the extension of product patents to all fields of technology including foods, drugs, chemicals and microorganisms. Furthermore, the provisions pertaining to exclusive marketing rights have been repealed and a provision enabling the grant of compulsory license has been framed as its replacement. Recent amendments are also been made in the patent laws since the patent rules 2020 came into force on 20 October 2020. Before the revised rules 2020, patentees and licensees were supposed to submit statements of commercial working for each annum. Since income statements in India are generally generated for a financial year, the revised rules 2020 will significantly ease the filing of statements of commercial working of a patented invention for every financial year. The amendments make several procedural changes such as replacing the publication of notifications in the official gazette with copyright journal and recognition of electronic means of operation. Geographical Indications A geographical indication is a designation or sign used on certain products that correspond to a certain geographical place or origin. As a member of the World Trade Organization, India established the Geographical Indications of Goods Act 1999 which took effect on September 15, 2003. GIs are defined as indications which identify a good as originating in the territory of a member or a region or locality in that territory where a given quality, reputation or characteristic of the good is essentially attributable to its geographic origin. Under Article 22 of the WTO Agreement on Trade-Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights. The Geographical Indications of Goods Act 1999 the GI Act covers only goods such as agricultural goods, foodstuff, handicraft goods, manufactured goods and natural goods. An application for registering a good under the GI Act requires a statement explaining how the geographical indication affects to the origin of the good in terms of the quality, characteristics and reputation of the good, the class of the goods, particulars with regards the appearance of the geographical indication and the map of the territory, area or country where the good has originated. A registered geographical indication is awarded protection for a term of 10 years with the option of renewing and extending such protection for further 10 years of 10 years from the date of expiration of the original registration. Plant Varieties Act The Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Act 2001 Some conventions have led India to introduce new enactments such as Plant Variety Act in order to award protection to goods that represent the heritage, agricultural background and fauna of India. The objective of the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Act 2007 is to recognize the rights of Indian farmers and to provide protection to plant varieties in order to encourage the growth and development of more plant varieties. In 1994, India became a member of the Trade-Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights Agreement under which all members are required to accommodate and provide for the protection of plant varieties. All plant varieties that have been registered and awarded protection are entered and recorded into the National Register of Plant Varieties. The Plant Varieties Act permit any breeder, farmer and any person as authorized to apply for registration of a new plant variety. A new plant variety is registrable if it satisfies the conditions of novelty, distinctiveness, uniformity and stability. To elaborate, the condition of novelty requires that at the date of filing the application, the plant variety must not be sold. Further, distinctiveness encompasses the requirement of having at least one distinguishing factor from all other existing and protected plant varieties. The requirement of uniformity means that all essential characteristics of the plant variety must be uniform. Lastly, the plant variety being registered for is required to be stable, meaning the essential characteristics of the plant variety must remain unchanged after repeated propagation of such plant variety. 
The validity of registration for the protection of a plant variety is for a period of nine years in the case of trees and vines, and for a period of six years in the case of crops, with the option of renewal of such registrations. Industrial designs. Industrial design is solely the features of shape, configuration, pattern, ornament, or composition of lines or colors applied to any article, whether it be in two-dimensional, three-dimensional, or both forms by any industrial process or means, whether manual, mechanical, or chemical, separate or combined. It excludes any mode or principle of construction and does not include any trademark. The Designs Act, two thousand. A design under the Designs Act means and includes only the features of shape, configuration, pattern, ornaments, or composition of lines or colors applied to any article, whether in two-dimensional or three-dimensional, or in both forms by any industrial process or means, whether manual, mechanical, or chemical, separate or combined, which in the finished article appeal to and are judged solely by the eye. An application for registration of an industrial design is to be made to the Controller General of Patents, Designs, and Trademarks. However, a design shall only be considered for registration if it is novel and an original innovation. That is, it has not been produced before or reproduced by anyone. It has not been disclosed to the public anywhere in India or outside the jurisdiction of India. It can be easily distinguished from other known designs. Furthermore, once a design is registered, the registered proprietor is afforded protection for an initial period of ten years, which is extended. Layout designs of integrated circuits. The exclusive right to use a layout design that has been registered under the statute in connection to the class of products for which it is registered for a specified amount of time constitutes the property in the case of integrated circuit layout designs. The right may also be transferred or licensed for use by a third party. The Semiconductor Integrated Circuits Layout Design Act, two thousand. A semiconductor integrated circuit is defined as a product having transistors and other circuitry elements which are inseparably formed on a semiconductor material or an insulating material or inside the semiconductor material and designed to perform an electronic circuit function. Under the SICLD Act, layout designs capable of being registered are required to be original, commercially unexploited anywhere in India and convention countries, inherently distinctive and inherently distinguishable from other registered layout designs. An application for registration of design layouts has to be in writing and is required to be filed before the registrar in Semiconductor Integrated Circuit Layout Design Registry present in the territorial limits of the principal place of business of the applicant. Further, the protection afforded to registered layout designs is for a period of ten years. Protection of undisclosed information. Owners of confidential information and know-how can only prevent unauthorized use of their information by others by keeping them secret and taking legal action against them through a contract or breach of confidence claim. Acquiring rights. The methods for acquiring rights and their commercial exploitation for profit are covered by laws pertaining to property and intellectual property. Property rights only refer to a person's corporeal or material property rights. They do not comprise all of a person's rights. However, intellectual property is an example of an incorporeal, intangible property. The legislation establishes intellectual property rights rather than transferring them from one person to another. The statutes tightly govern the acquisition of the monopoly of intellectual property, the requirements to be met for acquisition, its term, the licensing of these monopoly rights, or their assignment to others. Industrialists may assign intellectual property rights or licenses in exchange for a one-time payment or a set royalty. There are both civil and criminal punishments for IPR violations. Conventions, according to the trade-related aspects of Intellectual Property Rights Agreement of the World Trade Organization, the protection of intellectual property provided by the following international conventions shall be given in all member countries of WTO, mutatis mutandis. Number one, recognizing IPR, the Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property, nineteen sixty-seven. The Berne Convention for the Protection of Literary and Artistic Works, nineteen seventy-one, along with Appendix, 
the Rome Convention for the Protection of Performers, Producers of Phonograms and Broadcasting Organizations, 1961, and the World Intellectual Property Organization Convention. Number two, Copyright and Related Rights. The Universal Copyright Convention with Protocols, the Geneva Treaty on International Registration of Audiovisual Works 1992, WIPO Copyright Treaty 1996, WIPO Performance and Phonograms Treaty 1996. Number 3. Trademarks Madrid Agreement Concerning the International Registration of Marks 1979 Protocol relating to the Madrid Agreement Concerning the International Registration of Marks 1989 Common Regulations under the Madrid Agreement concerning the International Registration of Marks and Protocol relating to that agreement. The NICE Agreement concerning the International Classification of Goods and Services for the Purposes of Registration of Marks 1957. The Vienna Agreement established on International Classification of the Figurative Elements of Marks 1973. Number 4. Geographical Indications Agreement of Madrid for the Repression of False or Deceptive Indications of Source on Goods, 1967. Lisbon Agreement for the Protection of Appellations of Origin and their International Registration, 1979. Number 5. Industrial Designs. Hogg Agreement of International Deposit of Industrial Designs, 1960. Locarno Agreement of Establishing an International Classification of Industrial Design, 1968. Number 6. Patents. Patent Cooperation Treaty 1970. European Patent Convention with Protocols 1973. UPOV International Convention for the Protection of New Varieties of Plants 1991. Convention on Biological Diversity. Conclusion. India, having ratified the final act of Marrakesh and being a member country of WTO, has implemented the TRIPS Agreement. India implemented all the provisions of the TRIPS agreement along with other conventional agreements by enacting the new law or by amending the existing law. In India, there are different forms of intellectual property rights allowing a person to obtain protection for their assets. India has actively become a party to many conventions and treaties in order to afford international recognition and protection for intellectual property rights recognized in India.